All right, so it is uh, Wednesday and we got 14 to do today. So that seems like a whole hell of a lot, but I think it, is your right front tire going flat? Probably. It's a whole hell of a lot of yards, but it's not because it's all in one area. So we get them fast. Go ahead, pay attention. I reset my trip. So we're at 0, 0.0 miles, so I'm curious to see um, once we get into that neighborhood, we should um, we should be able to do those 13 yards, and then the 14th one is on the way back, and maybe a mile in, a half mile in, half mile out, you know, a mile round trip once we get to that neighborhood. But it's actually on the way right. We're gonna pass it, and it's right on the way back down too. So, of the 13 in that one neighborhood, we got four that are directly together, and three that are directly together. So seven of the 13 are. Um, you know, we just, and they're right on the same street, walking distance apart. So that's really nice. And then the other six that are in there are individual yards. Um, but the, the whole area is just really, really small. So that kind of goes on to what we were talking about with route de density. So, uh, and I did practice that. In fact, last year, we're coming up on the anniversary of when I picked up four of these yards. Um, I got a call because their lawn service was screwing them over for 4th of July and they called me up and I went and I actually did their yards uh, on a Saturday to where they were having a cookout I think the next day I think it was the next day they were having a barbecue or maybe it was Friday and they were having a barbecue Saturday for the 4th or something I don't remember what it was but I know it was the 4th of July and um, it was it was a bad deal for them and their lawn guy was screwing him and he's like look if you can get me in you can get us all um, we'll all you know be on board with you and so I quoted him the price pretty much over the phone and that was uh, that was awesome because I was already in that neighborhood doing three that were together and they were right down the street to do four and I think I probably had one or two more at that time now I got 13 in there um, so that's freaking awesome I'd like to have another 13 in there uh, but I actually have three more that I do in the off on a different week I go in there and do three more um, on, a, on, a, on next week it's that way actually I think that might be yeah it's next Friday we do that or Thursday and see that way we visit each neighborhood once a week so if somebody's like oh, don't do me this week do me next week I'm gonna be in that neighborhood I can add them to the next week or if there's rain out or a new customer maybe Friday I get a new customer and it's the neighbor of somebody we just did today that one might be a little sketchy to be able to line up with today's work. You know, I might I, I might be able to say, okay, I'll do you today, but then I'll be back in 10 days and do you when I do everybody else. They might go for that and they might not. So um, if they don't go for that, then I say, okay, well, I'll be back in your neighborhood in two days. Can you wait? Or in three days, you know, can you give me two or three days and I'll be there and I'll put you on when I do the other yards. And that usually works out fine. So there is, there is that option too. So, um, so that's what we got going on today. A whole hell of a lot of work. Uh, but I think we'll be done around probably 2, 2, 2 2.30 with all that. Uh, so that should work out pretty good. More focus Whoa, that's way too close. Would do to stop or at least try to reduce the likelihood of further terrorist acts eh. than they are on the terrorist eh. acts. Okay, what the? Act, I thought this thing's supposed to be connected. All right, serious sun issues right now. Uh, but we got... Uh, we're at the first yard, seven miles and eight tenths. So just under eight miles to the first yard. And so now we're gonna start knocking out 13 to go. So yesterday we talked about um, the blade trick that I've got and it talks, takes down those tall stocks. So if you look over here, hopefully this will show. This whole yard is full of those tall stocks. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, mow.
stop filming for a second because I'm going to get my other camera and suction cup it on and we'll do picture in picture so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm not going to change anything. Let me just pause this to save, you know, editing. Um, I'm going to pause this, this uh, recording and I'll be right back and the mower's not going to move. I'm not cheating. Okay, I got the, uh, I got the uh, second camera on, so we'll do some picture in picture at the same time. So let's go ahead and finish up.
Well, all right, guys. Um, there you go. One shot, one kill. We just we just mowed all that crap down. Now I had to go over it a little bit at the end because of mulching. It's pretty thick stuff. Uh, but I mean, it got it, man. I had to slow down a little bit because I was mulching. Um, I was mulching, you know, some pretty thick stuff. But the fact is, the tall stuff got cut one shot, and I'm never able to do that. So go back to yesterday's video. I'll put the link down below. Yesterday's video, uh, mower blade trick, and that makes it where you can get all this, all this crap, all this. One shot, one kill. I'm never able to do that. So that's that's super cool that that's done. All right, so we just. What does that say? Pop up the built-in flash to fire. I don't know what that, what is that? So it's 12 o'clock, we got nine and a half done. And so you say, well, what do you mean a half? Well, we got one, two, the neighbor's three, so that made nine, and then we do the one behind. That two-story house makes four. And what I did is we just did the back. We need edge, blew off, mowed, so that's nine and a half. So we got two to do down the road, two to do down here, one to do on our way out, and then that front yard has the last one right on our way out. And that will be 13. So nine and a half right now, that one's 10, 11, 12, 13. So that'll be the 13 in here, probably by 1 2 o'clock, we should be done with all 13. And then we just got that one other house to do that we got rained out on. So we're moving, man, we're moving. So we got 12 and a half done now. Uh, we're gonna go do the front yard of the backyard we did earlier. So that will make 13 in this neighborhood. Uh, it is 123. So we'll be out of here by two, no doubt. So we're gonna look at uh, 8 a.m. we left the house. Two o'clock we'll be done with 13 yards, one neighborhood, and we have done a total of 9.7 miles. So by the time we're done, we'll have 10 miles on the truck from our house to our last lawn in this neighborhood. And then we're gonna roll home. Uh, so our final tally is probably gonna be like 18 miles, 17 or 18 miles for the day. It'll be 14 yards, because we got one to do on the way home. Um, and we're averaging plus 40 a yard, over 40 a yard. So start doing the math, guys. Serious money. And we're gonna be done with our day by three o'clock this afternoon. Um, and uh, no miles. So, can't complain. Uh, hope you guys are kinda of learning something from that. Um, put that in practice with your business, man, trust me. If I could have more days like this, I would. And I, I mean, I'm trying to get there. Uh, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, but we'll keep working on it. All right, guys, so it's 2.39. I just pulled into my driveway. We did 19.1 miles round trip, driveway to driveway. And a pretty awesome financial day. Um, and uh, I mean, shit, dude, it's only 2.30. Let's go to the club. But hey, um, that's what route density can do for you, man. So I mean, if you could do a couple days like that, let's do a couple days like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these this videos uploaded and, um, or not uploaded, but transferred over to my computer, start doing some edits, and I'm gonna take a shower and everything. And um, then I'll be back and we're gonna talk about some things and we're gonna close out the vlog from there. Hey guys, Dan here. And I just wanna give you guys a really quick tip on uh, something about the summertime heat, how to beat it out here with the lawns, all right? Something that we can all do is schedule, okay? As our business owner, uh, whatever, you know, operator, maybe you're a supervisor for a company, you can make a suggestion to your boss, uh, or you're the boss. Maybe you're out there working, maybe you sit at the computer and you send a crew out to work and you do nothing um, in the sun. Point is, there's people out there working in the sun that you're responsible for, if not you, others. So one thing that you can do is schedule. If you schedule your work accordingly, you can give your guys breaks in the heat without actually losing production. Here's what I mean. When you're doing residential jobs, 
Say you got a group of four, a group of three, a group of two, a group of two, a group of four, and a whole bunch of individual yards. Try to schedule your largest groups at the earliest part of the day and work your route around that. If you can knock out your large groups early, then in the real heat of the day, they'll get a little bit more time behind the air conditioning. A little bit more time sitting in the truck if you don't even have air conditioning, whatever. Um, but they won't be out in the sun the whole time. So schedule your larger groups of yards early in the day and then by 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, hopefully you can start knocking out your individual lawns and that will give you guys a little bit more time or give yourself a little bit more time in the shade, either the roof of the truck or, you know, some air conditioning and then, uh, you know, take it from there. I find that to be a huge help. Come 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I don't look forward to doing a group of four lawns, especially when I was working solo. Because then, you know, you started at 1, you do a group of four, you're out there until 2.30. And from 1 to 2.30, non-stop, an hour and a half hustling in the heat. Um, by, by the time you're done with those four, you're done. And if you got some, some you know, individual lawns after that that you got to go knock out or a group of three to go do, man, you're really sucking. You're, you're, you're praying for rain. So try to knock that stuff out early in the day. Do your individual lawns in the afternoon, after lunch or whatever. Um, take breaks regularly, of course. Drink a lot of fluids. Replace your salts. But scheduling, that's something that you and I can do and schedule your yards accordingly. It's, uh, it's, it's giving your guys a break without losing production because you've got to get to the next yards anyways, right? So there you go, guys. So anyways, uh, let me close this out. We had an awesome day today. I hope you enjoyed that picture and picture. It took me a little bit of time to line, them, line up the, the views, so hopefully that was close. Um, but I really wanted you guys to be able to see what we were tackling and a, you know, and a further away view of the machine and the clippings coming out and all that. So um, we put some route density to practice today and you see what that can do for you and uh, the little blade trick there and you know like I said earlier I, I was able to do things I'm never really able to do so let me go ahead and get out of here this will be about a 20 minute vlog uh, got some pretty good info in there had a lot of fun making it I really appreciate you guys uh, thank you very much and I will see you tomorrow